What's up, my boomers? It's me, Melanie Mack, here on my new channel, Melanie Mack Go Boom. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. So, I'm going to talk about some girl gamer type stuff, as I do, because, I mean, I'm a girl gamer. So, <laughs> there's been some controversy going around now. I was going to cover this more initially when it first happened, because, I don't know, it's been a couple weeks, I think. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, because I had other stuff I wanted to cover. But, you know, I'm just going to talk about it today. Because this is a topic that I have a lot of opinions on. Now, if some of y'all remember, I made this tweet. When was this? Uh, in January. And this tweet says, hold on. There we go. Oh, crap. Like, let's not zoom in that much. Okay. Some lines should be drawn, but as a whole, as girl gamers, we can't get butt hurt every time a guy talks some smack. Roasting is a big part of any competitive space. We're going to get gatekeeped out of gaming if we can't hang. Just dish it back or let it go. It ain't always misogyny. Now, I made this tweet because there was constantly a ton of... At the time, there was things circulating about streamers and stuff like that and girl gamers in general. And how men are so toxic. Oh, gamers are so toxic. Dude gamers. Oh, misogyny. <laughs> So that was a big discussion and I just got freaking sick of it, dude, because I don't know. It, it's just like I, I know how most girl gamers are and what, what you see with these whole like drama peeps and people constantly calling toxic masculinity and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't even reflect most girl gamers. Most girl gamers can dish it back, dude. And back in my day, man, I used to be in an all girl clan called PMS clan. Back in like 2009, we play Halo. I'm telling you, those girls, we'd, we'd be on there and the dudes would like talk smack. Dude, they would dish it right back. And then some of them were just insanely good at the game. So they backed it up with their skill at the same time. So it was like, that's how it used to be. And I know for myself, like, I don't like people to feel like they have to put on kid gloves with me. Because I'm some fragile little flower or something like that. So I don't know. I get so sick of this whole narrative about girls in the gaming industry and trying to act like there's so much sexism in the gaming industry it gets so freaking annoying dude it gets annoying it's just like tough the heck up i don't care because like let's not play like these guys are all nice to each other and then they smack talk women and that's it like, it doesn't work like that they're typically nicer to girls if anything but i'm gonna go on another rant there so let me go ahead and get to today's story because this is a little bit unrelated so but I felt like for context, it was a help to bring that up because it will segue into what I'm going to say here in a bit. So, popular streamer accused of avoiding female players in Valorant. All right. Sigh. Aren't some Twitch streamers just delightful? Former CSGO player Jason, Jason R. Ruchaleski, has been facing backlash online lately for apparently avoiding playing any Valorant games with women. As reported by Kotaku, our favorite, <laughs> a number of professional female Valorant players, including Annie and QT Panini, raised the concern these concerns, accusing Ruchleski, Ruchelski of disconnecting from games whenever a woman joins, as well as allegedly muting female players. 50 plus women have experienced the Jason R effect. He will screen his cam, will full screen his camera so you don't see, then mute or disconnect if there is a girl on his team, she wrote. He is manipulating his audience and gaslighting them by saying he crashed every time, refuses to address any allegations as well. Everyone is jealous of my sub count and a clout chaser in his eyes. If they talk about this, she continued, then says how much this is affecting him and his wife, making them cry. Which makes people gift more subs. Wish he had the balls to say, yeah, I mute women, but he lies and gaslights. Well, what do you think's going to happen if he says that? Y'all are going to come after him. <laughs> First of all, why is it any of your business? Why is it anybody's business who somebody chooses to play or not play with? The audacity of some people. It's none of your business. <laughs> To make matters worse, the streamer opted to defend himself from these claims in perhaps the worst way possible. After being accused of these behaviors during a stream, he said, My stream crashed. I didn't hear anybody in this effing server that I apparently effing crashed because there was an effing B in it. <laughs> A 
And yes, no better way to prove you're not misogynistic than to fire back with misogynistic language. Like, like that word hasn't been reclaimed anyway. Like, stop being... It's like, come on, dude. Um, That'll show him. Another very effective argument he made was that he can't possibly be misogynistic if he doesn't talk to women at all. How do I disrespect women? I don't talk to them. How do I disrespect women? Sorry, I didn't know that not interacting with them is disrespecting them. My bad. Is this some sort of new crap to you that effing wusses cry about? Um... According to Kotaku, this isn't the first time that the streamer has been accused of dodging female players either, which really doesn't help him look any better. Twitch is full of problems when it comes to issues like sexism or racism, so sadly none of this... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's make up problems that don't exist. I My perspective on this is is here's here's the thing too when i said look i legit said this in january we're gonna get gatekeeped out of gaming if we can't hang and it's already starting to happen guys aren't wanting to play with us why do you think you think a guy's gonna want to play with you if you cry misogyny every time because like I, there's the thing is he knows that he can play with other dudes and he can be himself and he can talk and he can say whatever he wants to say and he can dunk on him if he wants to like it, there's not really that many limits but when he plays with women, I mean, is there anything he could possibly say? He, he, you, you have to tiptoe and walk on eggshells to not be called a misogynist. <laughs> so, naturally, why would he want to play with women? Why would any guy, especially of, of some sort of status online, why would they want to play with women? If there's a constant narrative being pushed at, oh, men are sexist, men are misogynist, at a drop of a hat. If you can't even talk to them equally, like, shouldn't we care about equality? Isn't that what we want? So if a guy can't even talk to a woman in the way that he would talk to a dude in a competitive game, which, mind you, in any type of competitive environment, smack talk happens. It just makes no sense. And people are like all upset about oh well you know and they said when i posted this they were like well it's it's different just don't use misogynistic language don't tell women to get in the kitchen like what do you think uh smack talk just not about that what do you think smack talk is that's the point of smack talk is you want to you want to hit them where it hurts <laughs> that's the point the whole toxicity of it is part of the fun usually if you're playing games you act like this and then afterwards there's so many times that you're adding each other on your friends list after that ain't always that deep and so, if you walk in a room, oh, they can't mention anything about me being a woman. Like, bro, just like if a, a, you're playing a game of the bald dude, you're going to say something about, oh, grow some hair, dude. Like, you're going to pick, you're going to pick whatever the, the, the easiest thing to spot and notice is. And so, with the woman, oh, get in the kitchen. Ha ha. Okay. Like, fire back at him, dude. Find something else. If you can't hang, then why are you playing a competitive game? <laughs> That's my thought on it. And so that's exactly what's starting to happen is guys are not even comfortable playing with women because this whole narrative, this victimhood narrative and this whole misogyny, crying misogyny all the time. I don't blame him. Why would he want to? And as a, a girl gamer, this is so frustrating because this whole crap and trying to call misogyny for everything, it looks bad on me. It makes people not want to play with me either. And I ain't even like that. And there's most girl gamers aren't like that. All these people cry misogyny all the time. That ain't most girl gamers. Most girl gamers can hang. <laughs> and so this is so annoying. And not, not to mention, we don't know what his, his relationship situation is like with his wife. His wife might not be comfortable with that. And, you know, I had an opinion in the past whenever Ninja was not playing with women because of his relationship and that kind of stuff, you know. In the past, I was like, oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. And And on one hand, that's not personally how I would want a relationship, but I can't. I, I, it's not really my place to say how someone else's relationship dynamic should be. Um, I don't know. I don't know their past. I don't know their what they what their insecurities are. I don't know any of that. And so if that's sort of some sort of arrangement that they have, then that's their decision in their own marriage. Um, you know, for me, I would like to be able to play video games with anybody and not be restricted and not told I couldn't play video games with guys. I wouldn't be in a relationship with a guy who told me I couldn't even hop on League of Legends with the, with the, you know, queue up and play with random dudes. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't like that, but that's me. Uh, I'm not everybody. So I don't, we don't know that. We don't know if it's something to do with their personal relationship and that's what they've figured out. Or like I said, 
not wanting to deal with the drama of it and not wanting to be called a misogynist because of, of these girls who hop on Twitter and try to make it look like all girl gamers feel like we're victims. Because most, like I said, most girl gamers don't. So it's like, it's it's just so stupid to me. What do you think's going to happen? Surprise, surprise. Guys don't want to play with us anymore. Well, stop acting like that. Stop being a wuss and hang. Hang or mute, dude. Hang, if you can't hang with the dudes, then mute. <laughs> ah, I could like rant so long about this kind of stuff and I get called a pick me. Oh, you're just a pick me. Despite the fact that when I made this thread, almost every girl. See, here I was going on about this and I was talking about, okay, guys usually talk to each other a lot worse than they talk to us and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I said, I've, I've had problems with being sensitive before. And so I'm talking to myself here as well. And then I mentioned the PMS clan, which I already told you guys. And then here, I'm specifically stated most girl gamers hang really well in competitive states, spaces, and they do. Um, and then people still want to call me and pick me and all that, despite the fact that... I mean, look at this. Alex Edra. Facts. Look at this. Another woman. I remember playing COD back in the day, and a guy said I sucked because I'm a girl, and that he could hear how fat I am by the sound of my voice. And he got so mad when I played along and laughed about it. Exactly. It's just like this is almost all of it is almost unanimous, almost unanimously girl gamers agreeing with me, but they still want to say, "Oh, you're a pick me." No. Uh, if anything, y'all are the pick me's for wanting to be victims, and all the male feminists that hop on, they're pick me's because they want female attention by pretending like we're victims and they want to be our saviors. I'm telling you, most girl gamers got thick skin. We ain't wusses. We're not little. Delicate flower petals that you got a baby. So, because of how loud the very, the, the very few, the few and the loud have gotten on this, this is the problem we have now. Guys don't want to play games with us. That sucks, doesn't it? Like, freaking come on, dude. So, we got to stop this narrative about pretending like there's just all this misogyny issues with girls and gaming. Like... Most guys want more girls playing video games, okay? This isn't an issue. But they're making an issue out of nothing because, you know, welcome to 2022 and the Wokies have taken over. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read some comments. <laughs> All right, Matthew says, may I recommend that you do something with your voice? It almost sounds like constant vocal fry. I'm not trying to be mean. I hope you read this and it can help you a little. As it is, I'm struggling to watch a full video. Maybe other people feel the same. I don't know. Please spare me any white knight comments. You are not needed here. Okay, dude. Uh, first off, if you don't like my voice, I understand it. I actually do get some people who hate my voice. That's fine. But I'm not going to just put my voice up like this. and <laughs> I'm not going to change my voice for you because you can't watch my video. Sorry about it. <laughs> If you don't like it, hey, you know what? I get it. My voice ain't for everybody. I'm fully aware I have a weird voice. But it is what it is. You're not gonna you can't expect someone to have to I made this channel so I could be myself, okay? I ain't gonna be all proper for this video. I'm being myself and I'm talking now I talk. If that ain't for you, I understand. Alright, Trudy's Gaming says they should just not renew their contracts. This was for the strike. Uh, that was going on with the uh, journalists. I think only 10 to 20% of people who play games have the same outlook on life as 90% of these journos. I think most of us go to content creators for advice or reviews on games. And I agree. I agree. That That's the thing I, that's so frustrating about these journos is that they don't speak for most of us gamers and they're there to push an agenda instead and their activism. And... Yeah, they want to talk down to gamers more than anything. And so it's honestly good for us that they're on strike. Toonie Boy says, maybe with all that extra time, they can play some video games. <laughs> that was just so amazing for me. Yeah, maybe they'll actually play some games for once. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so today's verse of the day, I picked Habakkuk. 3 17 through 19 and it says though the fig tree should not blossom nor fruit be on the vines the produce of the olive fail and the fields yield no food 
the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. To the choir master with stringed instruments. Now, what I really like this is it's a, I'm a big on resilience. And I think resilience is really important for all of us to to work on. And I feel like resilience is like a muscle. You got to work it because we're not born resilient. Um, not necessarily. Uh, that usually takes hard times to get us there. And what I really like about this is that oftentimes it's natural for us to, when we're going through hard times and things like that, sometimes we want to blame God for it. And we expect everything in our lives to be perfect. Uh, and what I really like about this is that even in this situation, like no food, basically. No food. No fruit. No livestock. Anything like that. Um, still rejoicing in God. And, uh, you know, taking joy in God and God's salvation and, and all that kind of stuff. And so I think that's important and that's it's easier said than done. But during hard times, uh, you know, there's still a lot to be grateful for, uh, like our salvation for us believers and all that. So uh, it's important. And that's the thing, too, is that hard times do make us stronger people. So, again, it's easier said than done. But it's very important to note and to keep in mind. All right. Well, there you have it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, go boom.